Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 305, NASDAQ is up 6, S&P's down 31. Gold, gold contract up $10.90 straight at 1921 an ounce. We have silver down 16 cents, $21.87 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $3.10, $68.23 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note up a full point plus nine ticks at 115.05. The 30 year up a full point plus 25 ticks at 131.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now up uh, 997 ticks, trading 104.594. The euro is out here at 105. The yen is at a price point of uh, 133, and the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. I'm going to put the futures up here because... This has been quite a morning and afternoon. And we're gonna show you here, you know, this, whatever this bar was, uh, yeah, 40 minutes ago, uh, it was quite a bar. And I'm not, it's like, okay, is the market just saying, okay, that, you know, basically rates are gonna basically go right back down again. So that bar right there, that is, that is a bar, man. That is a bar and a half. That's a, that's a bar with 90, is that nine? Yeah, yeah 94,000 contracts. And check it out. This is where this gets interesting. This is where it's like, okay, man, you're right at the 0.618. So we'll see. We, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Now, it's we're going to be starting another bar in a, in a second here. If we go over to the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. The NQs, compared to where the market has been all day, folks, the NQs have been strong all day. You know, the NQs... At the beginning of the day, yeah, you were, you know, way down into the 12,096 area. Uh, but it basically took off pretty quick, um, actually, before the market even was open. Uh, so the NQs, what the NQs just did, the NQs just got over the high of yesterday. Now the kicker is going to be, are they going to stay over that high? Uh, that high that we're talking about is 12,360. 12, yeah, 12,360. So what may happen here is this. This is where this is a danger point. Let me explain what this danger point is. See this this pop, the last pop on the 10 minute. Those are always dangerous. And the reason being is this, is that whoever was pushing that, meaning it's going to be a fund, they were seeing if there's more buy stops up there, you know, and there weren't. That's the bottom line. There weren't. So when there isn't, OK, the bottom line is that whoever is trying to push that, they're saying, OK, man, maybe I'm going to go the other way. Um, you see this a lot when you have big downdrafts that have been in place for a while. And, you know, you, there's a larger operator here that's trying to probe to see if something's there. So that's a danger spot. That is absolutely a danger spot. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. What do you have inside the gold contract? You hire again. You have volume again. Uh, nice move, man. That's the bottom line, you know. So 365,000 contracts. Uh, it's taken out a swing. This doesn't have the volume, um, you know, in order to basically be an ABC structure up because we had so much volume on, uh, let's see, what day is today? Today is Wednesday on Monday. Um, and you're going into big volume. But it, it's this is strong, you know. Um, the, the equities themselves should actually be stronger and they're not. So, you know, that's volatility in spades, though. That, that's, the, that's the reality. Because when, when, when there's so much selling pressure, period, um, it's, that has to do with everything. Now, what the big deal was out here today, folks, is that you had Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse, you know, bottom line, you know, uh, has, Credit Suisse has been like in a uh, dramatic real like 
TV show. <laughs> I mean, it seems like, let me put this back, it seems like this would have been going on this for 15 years or something. That's what it really seems like. Well, that was Deutsche Bank. But anyway, Credit, credit Suisse, you can see, I just put this back to 2009. Credit Suisse has gone from, what, $42, you're down, down, down to $1.97. And this is saying that Credit Suisse is going out of business. Because you can see, it's already breaking a B point, broken it with volume. And there's just, I mean, it's, it's going out of business. Um, where the real danger comes in, and this is where I'm sure the Fed is scrambling like crazy right now. The danger has to do with, folks, the counter-trend parties. What happens in the broker-dealer business and the banking business in general is that there's huge amounts of derivatives. So, and picture what you, what you have with the derivative package is the aspect of who's on the counter-trend party of that derivative. That's, that's the key. So, there's going to be plenty of banks, plenty of our banks that are on that counter-trend party. Now, all day long, they've been hedging themselves because the bottom line is that you can buy insurance and the insurance went through the moon um, this morning. It, it, right, it went as high as it did in 2008. So that's saying that, guess what? It's going to bust. Just a matter of uh, how it's going to bust and you know, what it's going to take with it when it busts. So that's what you're looking at out here. Um, and you know, so let's hope we'll find out who else doesn't have any uh, bathing suit on in this particular case. Uh, uh, you know, and then what we're also finding out today is that who actually are creditors of Silicon National Bank, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, rather. Some of the high volume uh, equities out here. Um, yeah, so so that big that big pop there. That was when Switzerland finally came out and said that uh, the Switzerland uh, National Bank came out and says, okay, yeah, we're talking with you know basically Credit Suisse. Well, good, you can talk all you want, and we'll see whether the the way that the way that the technically the way that's set up, they're going to be out of business, and I mean ASAP. You have uh, Tesla right now is uh, down 375. We have uh, Charles Schwab up two bucks. You got, well, let's go into uh, the NDX first. NDX, NDX. So inside the NDX, the strength out here. The Sirius Satellite up three. Netflix is up three. Google's up two and a half. Taken away from it. Um, what is that? Diamondback uh, Energy's down seven. You have uh, Baker Hughes down five and a half. Uh, and microchip technologies off three and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.